In this video, we're going to implement an image uploader in Node.js API. And also, we're going to set up file type and size validator as well. And finally, we're going to set up a route for viewing a single image file. All right, so let's get started. Hey guys, it's Corrosum here, and this is the part 10 of the series building a REST API with Node.js and MySQL. So make sure to subscribe and stay with the channel for the rest of the series. All right, so before writing any code, we need to plan how we're going to use this image upload functionality from the end user's perspective. Since this is a blogging platform, the user should be able to upload an image when he's creating a blog post. So if we are implementing that, we have two available options. Option one, we can add a separate endpoint for uploading an image. So from the UI UX perspective, the image upload functionality is separate and users can uh, maybe drag and drop images to some section next to the uh, content editor. So the image will be uploaded in the background and when the upload is finished, it can return the image URL, the uploaded image URL. So that URL can be saved when the blog post is saved. So that's the option one. And option two is, we can change the current save post endpoint to contain an image. So we have to change the current uh, payload type, which is JSON to form data because JSON payloads cannot contain images because it's a, it's a different content type. So we have to change it to form data. So the image will be uploaded when the blog post is saved at the same time. All right, from these two options, I prefer the first option since it's an independent endpoint and user can upload as many as images while he's typing the blog post. So it's more convenient from the UI UX perspective. And also it's my personal preference. All right, so let's implement the image upload functionality that way. All right, I'm gonna create a new directory I'm going to name that helpers and inside that I'm going to create a new file called image uploader.js. So I'm going to implement the image uploading functionality as a reusable function so that I can use this image uploader anywhere in the project. All right. For the image upload functionality, I'm using a package called Malter. With that package, we can upload any kind of files to our uh, project. I'm going to open up the terminal. I'm going to type npm install dash dash save malter. All right. And I'm going to import that package to this file. And also, I'm going to import another package called path, which is a default package in Node.js. All right. Here in Malta, we have to add some configuration before we call the upload methods. For that, I'm going to create a new constant. Here, I'm going to define the storage configurations. I'm going to create a new constant called storage. Here, Malta has a method called this storage. Here, we need to pass an object. Here, we have to define two keys. The first one is destination. And for that, we need to pass a function. So I'm going to pass an anonymous function like this. And the parameters for this function should be like request and file and then a callback function. I'm going to just name it like CB 
to represent callback these names can be uh, anything you want I just put them like this because that makes sense here in this anonymous function we need to call the callback function and as the first argument which is error we have to pass null because we don't have any errors when we are calling this and as the second argument we need to pass the uh, directory we want to upload the images to so i will be creating a directory in a minute so it will be like uploads just like this so i'm going to create a new directory here oops not in this folder in the root folder just like this all right here this function will be called by malta we just need to define the function and do whatever we want inside this so when this function runs we want to call the call this callback function saying that this is the uploads uh, this is the file destination we want to uh, use for our project and as the second key we need to pass um, file name and for that we need to pass a function and we have to pass the same parameters this function will be called by malta as well and here we need to define how the file naming should be like when a file is uploaded either we can keep the original name or we can uh, rename it uh, as we want maybe with uh, with the hash or with the timestamp so i'm going to call this uh, callback function and the first argument is null and the second argument is the file name so for the file name i'm just gonna use the timestamp uh, because it's simple oops and here all right so this will this is the file name which is the timestamp uh, we want to use as the name and we need to get the uh, file extension to for that i'm going to use this path package and there get this x name uh, property we can get the original file name just like this so this when this callback function runs it will return the uh, new file name for the uploaded file all right our storage configuration is complete now we can call the multis upload method but before that let me create a filter function because uh, we don't want users to upload every kind of files we just want them to upload images all right so we need to filter the files they upload for that i'm gonna create a new function file filter just like this and i'm gonna pass an arrow function all right so here we need to pass these three parameters here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna check the mime type of the uh, uploaded file so i'm gonna write an if condition if file dot mime type equals to image jpeg o 
file dot mime type equals to image png then we can call this callback function the error is null and the second parameter is the boolean which indicates the success so where we call this function this callback function with these parameters this second parameter true when the uh, file uploaded file upload is successful because the if the mine types are matching these types so which means it's a successful upload or else we can call this callback function uh, so this is an error right so we have to pass an error let me create an error exception like this let me set a message on supported files just like this and as the second argument i can return false just like this all right so storage configuration and also file filter function is also looks good now let's call the upload method of multi i'm gonna create a new constant i'm gonna name that constant upload and then i'm gonna call this method multi and inside that as the argument we need to pass an object with the configuration we created earlier so as the storage configuration we need to pass storage and also maybe we want to limit the file size a user can upload maybe we want the users to upload files uh, uh, smaller than 10 megabytes so let's define that here as well limits it should be another object file size is like um, we have to define it here in bytes so all right so the file upload limit is um, 10 megabytes and now we can uh, add this file filter as the file filter all right so we call this multi function with the configuration we want now we can use this uh, helper function as a middleware when we call some endpoints or any functions I'm going to export this helper file I'm going to name that upload upload just like this all right now we can use this as a middleware now I'm going to create a new controller in the controllers directory I'm going to name that image controller here i can uh, handle all the responses after a file upload is complete i'm going to create a new method function upload just like we did in other controllers request and response here we need to check whether this request object contains a file with a valid file name if it does which means the file upload is successful because what malta does is it adds a file object to this request object all right we need to check it like this if request contains file 
with the file name key just like this if it does let's return a successful response the status code is 201 because it's a new record creation and for the response let's add the message with uh, something like image upload successfully and then we need to return the url the url of the uploaded file so we can get that using request file and file name all right and else if it doesn't have a uh, key like this which means there is an error so the file upload has not been completed the error is uh, something like let's say 400 500 and for the message let's say something went wrong all right and we need to remove this okay this is uh, pretty much complete we don't have much to write in this controller we just need to export this function so that we can use it in our route file all right now i'm going to create a route file as well for the image images all right here just like we did in other route files i'm gonna import express const express and the image controller and then the helper file we created let's name it image uploader the file is at helpers all right and also we need to include uh, the other middleware we created in one of our previous videos which is check auth because only the authenticated users should be able to upload images well if you missed the previous videos i suggest you to watch them because we are following a really cool uh, tutorial series creating rest api with node.js we have achieved so much so far this is the 10th video so i suggest you to watch it all right um now let's create the router all right now here let's define our route it is a post route and as the 
url segment uploads and as the first middleware i'm gonna include this check auth because only authenticated users can upload files then the image uploader helper function we added and in that object we have a method called single we have to call that method since we are uploading just one file at a time and as the argument we need to pass the field name in the request let's say it's image all right now let's call the image controller function which is upload all right let me check again we have included the uh, url segment and the object middleware then the image upload helper function and also image uh, uh, image controller upload method which generates the response all right this looks good let me export this oops module dot exports all right and now let's import this to our app.js file and we need to uh, use it like this because we want all our image routes image upload routes to start with uh, image images prefix all right we are pretty much done with this let's um let me check again we have our image upload helper function it looks good and then our controller method which generates the responses and our route file that also looks good and we imported that to our application js file all right so let's open up the terminal and let's start the application npm start we get an error let me check um route in our routes we have an error oops in our <coughs> check auth middleware we need to call the function check auth this is just the object uh, this object contains this check auth method we just forgot to uh, call that so let's save it looks like we don't have any more errors all right let's open up the api testing client and let's create a new request first i'm going to create a new folder images and there i can create image upload it is a post request and with the multi-part form body for the URL HTTP localhost port 3000 images then upload that's the URL um, we suggested all right so so the field name should be image as we define here for the value let me check file option here then I can choose a file for the upload um, I selected that file then I can hit the send button I get an error let me check the code it's a not found because the URL segment says uploads 
I need to change this to upload all right hit save and let's hit that endpoint again oh I forgot to sign in let me sign in first copy the token and here in the auth section bear a token I paste this All right then oops well looks like I have few errors let me check again and in the image uploader here the mime type should be with lowercase t and also uh, the file name this should be date not data i have a typo here i'm sorry about that now looks like we don't have any more errors let me open the api testing client and let's all right so we have uploaded file we get the success message let me check in the project in the uploads yes we have new file uploaded and let me send another file okay that file was also uploaded yes it looks great and now we can use an actual image url which is uploaded for saving a blog post earlier we used just a dummy image url now we can use the image url we just uploaded all right so that functionality is also complete all right so before wrapping up let me do just one more thing currently we don't have an endpoint to get images with their urls for that we need to make this uh, upload folder publicly accessible so that all the images inside that folder can be accessed with the url so let's do that really quick I'm going to open up the app.js file and I'm going to add a new middleware app.use and express has uh, this method called uh, static with that we can make a directory publicly accessible and I'm going to add this prefix so that uh, all the images should be accessible uh, with their URL starting from uploads prefix and express has this method called static and we need to pass the the directory name as the argument so this should work let me test this on the api testing client i'm going to create a new endpoint get image so get endpoint And the URL should be HTTP port 3000 uploads and file name. Uh, let me get a file name. Just like this so let me hit this endpoint yes now we can get images with the URL so that you can uh, you can use this URL in the front-end application or anywhere you want all right so that's how we can implement the image upload functionality in our node.js API and it's not just image upload you can upload any type of file the same way we did and I hope you enjoy the video Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and give a thumbs up as well and i'll see you guys in the next video